Hello friends, welcome to Affairs Cloud Learn to Lead. This is Ashu and today we will discuss very important current affairs of 1st and 2nd of August 2021. You can see two best images of the day, but today we will discuss very important and the most important current fair. So watch this video till last. But I am requesting you all the students that you can download our application from the description box link and the name of the application is Careers Cloud. And guys, after that, you can log in with your email ID and after login, you have to click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two year. Both the subscription prices are very much low. If you see the price, you will definitely surprise. But the most important thing that we are covering 90 to 95 percent of those current fair which can come in your exam. This is the genuinity. This is the hard work of a Fairs Cloud team. But how we are covering this current fair? We are providing you daily section. In the daily section, you will receive three type of current fairs. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, you will receive three type of things. One is the detailed current fair. Second is the question and answer format and third is the quiz section. This you can attempt on our application on weekly basis. And guys, we are also providing monthly section and we are providing four most important PDFs. One is the detailed current fair. Second is the question and answer format and third is the best 100 current fair that is also in the form of question and answer and the pocket PDF. It means the two liner and the three liners current fair will be provided to you in the form of uh, like you can say two liner, three liner so that you can revise the current fair in quick format. But guys, we are also providing topic wise current fair. We are covering 20 most important topics which are very important for every type of exam. It means if you want to cover one topic and all the related news just from single PDF, then you can use this topic wise PDF section. If you are a banking aspirant, then we are providing three things. One is the detail and the question and answer format of current fairs only related to banking and economy. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on the monthly basis. If you want to cover all the past current fair of 2021, then you can use the single PDF that is exam PDF. And guys, we are also providing budget and economic survey that is detail also provided in the special current fair section. But we are also providing expected question and answer which can ask from budget and economic survey. And guys, we are also covering state current fair. If you are appearing for your state exam, then uh, you have to use the state current fair section and we are covering every state and union territory. So there is no different different subscription. We are providing all these things under one subscription. You have to just download our application, log in with your email ID and you can click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But if you are a beginner or you are reading the current fair first time, then you have to purchase this uh, two year subscription. Both the prices are very much low, but on that minimal price, we are providing 10% extra discount if you use this code ASH10. If you have any query, you can email us on this email ID or you can contact us on this number. So let's start today's current fair that is 1st of 2nd of August 2021. But I am requesting you all the students that you have to like this video, share this video as maximum as possible and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform. And guys, remember one thing, you can join our Telegram group from the description box link. And here is the first question in the most important section that which state has became the first state to provide 1% horizontal reservation for the transgenders in the government services. So this is the most important question because we are talking about one state government and this state government is the first state government of the India who is providing 1% horizontal reservation for the transgenders and it is in the government services. So this is very important. Answer of this question is C. You can see answer is Karnataka. You can say uh, Karnataka become the first state of India to provide 1% reservation for the transgenders in all government services. Your question can cover from this, but you can also remember the detail like 1% reservation specifies all journal as well as the reserve categories for the third gender. Like you can say in case of non-availability of the transgender candidates, the job could be given to the male or the female from the same category, but 1% is necessary. So there should not be any discrimination to the transgenders in the process of selection. You have to remember. And guys, remember about Karnataka here. Karnataka's recently appointed chief minister is Basav Raj Bomai. You have to remember the name Basav Raj Bomai. And uh, governor is Thavarchand Gehlot that was also newly appointed. And guys, remember the national parks, very important national parks are there. Like you can say Bitar Kanika National Park is, no, no, Bitar Kanika is in Odisha. Uh, Baner Gatta National Park. Baner Gatta National Park, uh, Bandipur National Park, that is also Kali Tiger Reserve, Kali Tiger Reserve, Dandeli Tiger Reserve is also in uh, you can say Karnataka, and very important Kudre Mukh National Park, Kudre Mukh National Park, 
एंड वन इज नगर होल नगर होल रिमेंबर बीतर कनिका इज इन ओडिशा नॉट इन कर्नाटका सो बीतर कनिका इज नॉट रिटर्न हेयर इट इज बेसिकली फेडेड नाउ आई एम रिपीटिंग माई सेल्फ बनेरगट्टा बांदीपुर काली टाइगर रिजर्व दांदेली Pudremukh and Nagarhol. These are very important national parks in Karnataka. We are moving to next question. So most important question was just one, and we are now moving to very important questions. You have to like this video, share this video as maximum as possible, and you have to subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform. Join our Telegram group from the description box link. And here is the question: Which space agency has launched launched EU Telsat or you can say uh, EU Telsat? Quantum, the world's first commercial reprogrammable satellite into space. So we are talking about one space news, and this is related to one of the space agency who will launch this EU Telsat, or you can say EU Telsat Quantum, the world's first commercial reprogrammable satellite into space. And this agency is European Space Agency. Answer of this question is D, because you know. In NASA is a space agency of United States of America. ISRO is uh, basically space agency of India. JAXA is of Japan. But this is European Space Agency. It means European Space Agency launched this Eutelsat Quantum, the world's first commercial reprogrammable satellite, into the space through uh, one of the rocket, which is known as Ariane rocket. Ariane five rocket from French Guiana. and it is fully flexible software defined satellite so this is again very important and guys remember it can be reprogrammed in the real time to suit the changing purposes of the user and uh, an reprogrammable satellite allows the user to repurpose it even after being launched into the orbit it means after launching it can be reprogrammable according to the user's uh, requirementality and the satellite has been developed under the european space agency we already covered this point because the quantum satellite is capable of responding to changing demands for data transmission and secure communication during its life span of how much time period that is 15 years its total life span is 15 years and it will cover the areas from western africa remember western africa to asia so this is you have to remember european space agency it is a reprogrammable satellite total time span is 15 years and it will cover the area between the western africa to asia and it is a european space agency so these things are very important you have to also remember the name of the satellite it is uh, util satellite from the eu you can remember it is european union or european space agency moving to next question annual meeting of the defense minister of shanghai corporation organization which is also known as sco hosted by which country so guys it is very simple question if you know that sco 2021 membership lies with which country then answer is very simple so answer is tajikistan and the capital of tajikistan that is dushanbe uh, hosted this meeting so answer of this question is c so you can see here raksha mantri or the defense minister shri rajnath singh ji visited tajikistan because this was the physical conference to attend sco defense ministers meeting and you can remember it was chaired by tajikistan because sco presidency of 2021 lies with tajikistan and exact place i already uh, covered this point that exact place is dushanbe you have to remember this this is the capital of tajikistan and the ministers exchanged views on the international and the domestic security by default because it is related to defense ministers and it also including the uh, security situation in the afghanistan this is again very important and guys remember one peace mission 2021 this red highlighted it means it is very important thing it is a joint counter terrorist command and staff training exercise so it is the name of the exercise it it uh, it is to be held between the sco countries in the russia it will be hosted by which country russia in september 2021 this is very important and it will help in fighting international terrorist organizations so peace mission 20 uh, 2021 uh, belongs to sco countries and it will be hosted by russia these three things are important and 2021 was declared as year of sco culture this is again very important it is to commemorate this a festival of military orchestra uh, and it is scheduled to be held in pakistan in october remember it is uh, to be held in pakistan in 2021 it is also known as fan fairs of peace this is the military orchestra remember festival of military orchestra and it is also known as fan fairs of peace i am writing here so you can remember fan fairs of peace and it is scheduled to be uh, held in pakistan in october 2021 
and next meeting was also declared and in 2022 defense ministers agreed to held in uh, um, uh, 2022 meeting in uzbekistan so next country is uzbekistan in 2022 so guys remember this organization very important seo is important seo currently general secretary is vladimir norov you can remember and uh, uh, chairmanship already i covered this that uh, 2021 lies with the tajikistan and total member countries are eight the four countries are very important like china india pakistan and russia this is very simple to remember china india pakistan and russia and four countries belongs to central asia like one is the kazakhstan kazakhstan kyrgyzstan kyrgyzstan next is tajikistan and uzbekistan you can remember tajikistan because uh, 2021 chairmanship lies with and 2022 lies with uzbekistan just remember these two countries kazakhstan and kyrgyzstan now we are moving to the next question which city was ranked in the qs best student cities of 2022 ranking by qs uh, quack quarryly siemens so you have to just remember the name of the organization this organization belongs to united kingdom and this organization released a ranking known as qs qs stands for quackerly siemens best student cities for 2022 they are basically ranking according to the affordability quality of life the standard of university so many parameters are there and two indian uh, cities were ranked under this uh, best cities student cities of 2022 one is the bengaluru second is mumbai so answer of this question is both a and c but there are different different ranking you can see here qs ranking and uh, it is mumbai mumbai ranked on the 52nd spot among 100 of the student employability because there are different different categories like uh, only two cities to get the rank from india one is bengaluru second is mumbai there are most metro cities all over india mumbai ranked on the 52nd among the top 100 cities globally in the employer activity indicator so we are talking about only employer activity indicator and it is mumbai if we are talking about the affordability cities then bangalore ranked on the 7th number and out of the top 10 bangalore rank is 7 and it is according to the affordability cities but if we are talking about overall ranking you have to just remember the overall ranking then mumbai ranked on the 106 and bangalore ranked on the 110 but the best cities for the student is london united kingdom and second is munich and germany so guys remember this is again very very important because we are talking about cities and qs best student city 2022 is an annual ranking used to provide an overview to the international student for the best places to live and study around the world based on the current students opinions on uh, you can say affordability quality of life standard of university employer activity and so many things but you have to just remember the overall ranking of mumbai and bengaluru and this ranking is released by united kingdom based organization which is known as quackerly siemens and this organization is important because this organization released so many indexes related to best universities so guys remember moving to next question who authored a new book titled my own mazagon or mazagon so you have to remember because this book is very important this book is related to the history of mumbai and answer of this question is captain ramesh babu answer of this question is d you can see here this book features the history and story of mazagon the island which was merged into the single entity as bombay so uh, how it become bombay this is the story and uh, captain ramesh babu from kerala has retired as a engineer career in the indian navy and the mazagon dog and uh, he also published so many books like uh, uh, after after you sir this is also written by uh, you can say ramesh babu and uh, second you can say calicut heritage trails calicut heritage trails but guys you have to just remember the name of this book ramesh babu and uh, uh the author is ramesh babu and the name of the book is my own mazagon so this is important otherwise this question is not so much important move into next question which state signed mou and uh, with one organization that is invest india very important organization to promote the trade and industries of the state so this is again very important and this state is meghalaya so answer of this question is b it means meghalaya state investment promotion or you can say msip uh the society has signed a memorandum of understanding with invest india an investment promotion agency under the ministry of commerce and industry ministry of commerce and industry to promote the trade and industries of meghalaya you can see here meghalaya signs mou with one of the very important organization of ministry of commerce and industry that is invest india to boost trade of the meghalaya 
and uh, this will definitely boost the trade in the northeastern state northeastern state and under this mou invest india will support the planning of the global value chain global value chain and especially the chief minister konad sangma emphasized promoting trade with neighboring countries through formalizing the existing system and guys the targets uh, like both short and the long term plans which will enhance the entrepreneurial system across the state it means it will promote the uh, you can say msmes uh, culture in the state along with focusing on promoting one product one district program so that maximum to maximum artistic work or maximum to maximum handicraft can be enhanced and remember the immediate targets are focused on the promoting the startups along with the value addition products of the meghalaya like you can say uh, a very famous turmeric here uh, the turmeric is known as lakadong turmeric you have to remember lakadong turmeric that is uh, uh, you can say specialty of meghalaya ari silk that is also specialty of meghalaya mushroom is there very good quality of mushroom pineapple jackfruit so this will be the target so that these type of products can be enhanced and these type of product marketing can be enhanced and it can be exported to the other countries so the main objective is to support the investment opportunities in the development sector to enhance the trade and industries in the meghalaya so guys you have to just remember about meghalaya meghalaya's chief minister i already covered that is konad sangma and uh, governor very famous person satyapal malik ji and very famous national parks are there like one is you can say nam dafa national park nam dafa national park one is no nam dafa is in arunachal sorry not nam dafa it is not in meghalaya it is in arunachal pradesh the we are talking about meghalaya meghalaya nokrek yes nokrek national park is there bal fakram national park is there this is important bal fakram and nokrek is very famous because it is also one of the biosphere reserve so nokrek and bal fakram national park move into next question which company launched artificial intelligence for all initiative in partnership with the cbsa this is a again new kind of thing uh, that this organization launched artificial intelligence for all and it is for the class students because it is uh, in with partnership of cbsc so that's why answer of this question is intel so answer is c so you can see here it is to create a basic understanding of what is artificial intelligence especially for the indian people especially for the you can say the class students it plans to introduce artificial intelligence to 1 million people and it's one year first year of the launch so they will cover 1 million people in the one year to uh, you can say enhance the capability to uh, uh, provide the basic understanding of artificial intelligence to the indian people it is the 4 hour self placed learning program which is known as artificial intelligence for all and it will explain artificial intelligence is an easier way and it is available in 11 vernacular languages and it is divided into the two sections such as artificial awareness it is a 1.5 hour or you can say one and half hour program and one is artificial intelligence appreciation and it is a two and half hour program so total 4 hour program will be launched so that the basic understanding of the artificial intelligence in the vernacular language can be provided to the indian people and this organization is intel so very basic question you can just cover this question from this slide move into next question 36th edition of corpet was held in uh, held in between india and which country so uh, this is the corpet this is uh, not basically exercise uh, this is uh, known as the you can say coordinated patrol coordinated patrol and guys remember this is the 36th edition uh, of this uh, uh, patrolling exercise between the india and this country and name of this country is indonesia so answer of this question is indonesia and guys remember this 36th edition of coordinated patrol was held uh, between the navies of india and indonesia from 30th and 31st of july in the indian ocean region indian ocean region it is to enhance the trade between this region and it also aims to enhance the maritime cooperation between the two navies and forge strong bonds of the friendship across the indo pacific region and it comes under the, you can say the sagar program this is very important for the india sagar stands for the security and the growth for all in the region like uh, in the indian ocean region and uh, indian navy has been actively partnering with the countries in the littoral states of indian ocean to enhance maritime security in the region and guys remember sagar mission was launched in which year it was launched in 2015 and it is india's strategic vision for the indian ocean region and the patrol uh, uh, this uh, you can say the coordinated patrol was held in 
in non contact at c only format in view of the pandemic due to covid 19 it is in non contact and uh, at c only policy and it ensures safety and security for commercial shipping international trade and conduct of legitimate activities in the indian ocean region and what is corporate i already covered that coordinated patrol has been conducted twice a year since 2002 by india and indonesia along with the international maritime boundary line between india and indonesia so guys you have to just remember the uh, patrolling exercise that is known as corporate or the coordinated patrol and uh, remember indian navy chief of naval staff is admiral karambir singh you can remember very simple question and remember about indonesia president is joko widodo and uh, capital is jakarta and the currency is indonesian rupiya or you can say rupiya indonesian rupiya move into next folk singer fakir alamgir you have to just remember this name fakir alamgir passed away he was belonged to which country he was very famous singer or you can say the folk singer traditional singer and name is fakir alamgir answer of this question is bangladesh so b is the answer and bangladesh is also celebrating this year like uh, you can say Uh, 50 year of independence you can also remember and bangladesh folk singer fakir alamgir passed away you can see here the picture he was born in faridpur in bangladesh and he was awarded as akushe padak this is the second highest civilian award of bangladesh and it was received in 1999 and it was given by the government of bangladesh so guys you have to just remember the name of this person fakir alamgir his profession was uh, he was folk singer and he belongs to which country he belongs to bangladesh these three things are most important in this question and you can cover every question in every exam about this move into next question which country has signed a record of discussions with iit hyderabad for the phase 2 of the friendship program first of all you have to remember what is the friendship program friendship is the core project between uh, you can say iit hyderabad and this country and it was initiated from uh, you can say 2011 for a period of 8 years it means till 2000 uh, you can say 20 or 2019 it is to establish a sustainable platform for academic and industrial collaboration between india and this country at iit hyderabad and answer of this country is japan so answer of this question is a so you can see here friendship stands for future researchers at iit hyderabad to enhance network development with scholarship and the main organization of japan is jica jica stands for japan international corporation agency and this agency has signed a record of discussion with the indian government to strengthen its technical cooperation project with the indian institute of hyderabad phase 2 of friendship and under phase 2 of friendship this organization of japan experts will be dispatched to iit hyderabad it means they will come to iit hyderabad for launching the japan desk at iit hyderabad and uh, it will conduct student exchange program uh, providing you can say japan international cooperation agency research funds to enhance research and technology development and industrial collaboration between india and japan and uh, this organization and iit hyderabad started their collaboration first in 2007 after that they signed this friendship program in 2011 for 8 years and so far they have worked under the different projects for the technical cooperation research public private partnership so in the simple words you can say it is just to build a strong academia between the india and japan or uh, just you can say increase the research capability of india through the japan program so answer of this question is japan remember this friendship program it is between iit hyderabad and the one of the japan organization which is known as jica japan international corporation agency this is the keyword move into next question united states secretary of state antony blinken i think all you know that who is currently the secretary of state that is the most powerful position uh, uh, near president of united states of america and uh, he visited for two day in india and you can see here the picture of uh, antony blinken and uh, our external affair minister s jay shankar ji this is the blinken's first visit to india after assuming charge as the secretary of state this is again a you can say new kind of thing because it is the first visit to india and the visit is aimed at boosting bilateral ties between the india and the united states of america and to expand cooperation in the indo pacific region or the indian ocean region and guys remember united states dollar 25 million for india's covid-19 vaccination program was also passed and the us government announced the additional 25 million usd or you can say almost 186 crore rupees uh, will be provided to india for the support of covid-19 vaccination and the fund will be provided through us aid 
यूएस एड और यू कैन से यूनाइटेड स्टेट एजेंसी फॉर इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट नेक्स्ट यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका एंड इंडिया एग्री टू एक्सपैंड मल्टीलेटरल सिक्योरिटी पार्टनरशिप बोथ कंट्रीज आर कनेक्टेड अबाउट द ग्रोइंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द चाइना इन द एशिया पैसिफिक एंड द इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन सो दैट्स वाई दे वॉन्ट टू टेकल दिस डोमिनेंस ऑफ द चाइना इन द इंडियन पैसिफिक रीजन सो दैट्स वाई दे वॉन्ट टू एक्सपैंड दिस मल्टी लेटरल सिक्योरिटी पार्टनरशिप इन स्पेसिफिकली इंडियन ओशन रीजन सो गाइज जस्ट रिमेंबर दीज थिंग्स दिस इज नॉट फॉर द क्वेश्चन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज जस्ट फॉर द यू कैन से द इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका सो रिमेंबर द नेम इट इज एंथनी ब्लिंकन मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन so all the very important questions are also covered now we are moving to important question you have to like this video share this video and subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and guys remember please join our telegram group from the description box link and here is the question which organization or who launched a new high technological and low sound weapon called trika trika stands for that is the keyword you have to just remember tri stand for trichi it means i am talking about trichinapalli and ca stands for ca stands for carbine carbine it means it is trichi carbine and guys remember it is one of the center of ordinance factory in trichinapalli so answer of this question is d that is ordinance factory trichinapalli or oft in tamil nadu launched a new high tech and the low sound weapon called trika this is known as trichi carbine and you can also see here this is the picture of this uh, you can say uh, trika or the trichi carbine it is a mini version of uh, tar 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 stand for trichi assault rifle it is a mini version of this rifle so ordinance factory in tamil nadu or trichinapalli launched high technological carbine which is known as trika it is known as trichi carbine and trika is a lighter as compared to the assault rifles with a range more effective than a typical submachine gun and it is a compact weapon to be packed in the jacket of security personnel and it is designed uh, for the infantry combat vehicle helicopter crew security personnel for the operations you can say and also for the paratroopers police and the security personnel guards uh, uh, you can say uh, highly secure facilities such as the airport and for use of the special operations forces so it can be used anywhere in simple words and trika has a special muzzle booster which helps in hiding the flash and mitigating the sound when fired so that's why uh, the weapon is known as low sound weapon so it is very uh, high technological weapon and it is uh, developed by ordinance factory trichinapalli or oft and remember uh, uh, ordinance factory uh, is basically comes under the ministry of defense under the government of india move into next question who became the new prime minister of peru so we can eliminate the options very simply uh, you can see here isaac herzog he was recently appointed as the president of israel so this cannot be the answer c is not the answer Naftali Bennett most important question because he become the prime minister of Israel this is again very very important question so it cannot be the answer Pedro Castillo Terrones he was recently appointed as the president of Peru but we are talking about the prime minister of Peru so uh, examiner can confuse from the a option like Pedro Castillo so remember he become the president you can remember by the name of the p like pedro uh, president p stands for pedro p stands for president so a cannot be the answer so only answer is guido balido so you have to remember do do so you can remember very easily and he become the prime minister of peru and a peruvian president pedro castillo named uh, this person guido balido as the new prime minister of peru and guys remember balido belongs to which party he belongs to free peru party free peru party and peru is in uh, a very small country in the south america area and pedro castillo torres uh, you can say the terrones uh, took charge as the 63 president recently 63rd president recently and the peru parliament is also known as the congress and uh, remember about peru peru is a very small country in the south american continent capital is lima and uh, currency is sol move into next question so this question is from picture you have to just remember uh, we have to change the color so that you can see here uh, union minister of state and independent charge of science and technology it is jitender singh dr jitender singh released biotechnological pride you have to remember what is the meaning of this biotechnological pride or biotech pride pride stands for uh, promotion of research and innovation research and innovation through data exchange so de stands for data exchange RI stands for research and innovation P stands for promotion this is biotech uh, uh, pride 
and guys remember the guidelines was released and these guidelines are developed by the department of biotechnology under the ministry of science and technology and these guidelines will be implemented through indian biological data center at the regional center for biotechnology supported by the department of biotechnology and the guidelines aim at providing a well defined framework to facilitate sharing of the biological knowledge information and the data across the country to promote research and innovation in the different research groups and biotech pride is the first of its kind initiative by the department of biotechnology and the pride guidelines will help to harmonize you can say uh, and encourage the data sharing for research and analysis in the country and to promote scientific work and foster prog progress by building on uh, previous work and guys remember just biotech pride what is the meaning of this pride it is related to research and innovation and it is launched by uh, ministry of science and technology moving to next question it is one line are important points but first is national fertilizer limited and second organization is rashtriya chemicals and fertilizer limited both signs a mou with one of the very important organization which is known as ifco ifco stands for indian farmers fertilizers cooperative limited for transfer of technology of fertilizers nano urea liquid and the mou will enhance the adaptability of the nano urea by the farmers which will help an in increased saving to the farmers and government subsidies and nano urea is manufactured by this organization which is known as ifco and it is india's india you can say india is the best or the first country globally to start commercial production of the nano urea we already covered this question this organization you can say the first organization in the country to start commercial production of the nano urea so this is important next lok sabha passes in insolvency and the bankruptcy code 2021 you have to remember the older uh, code of um, this uh, insolvency and bankruptcy was 2016 it means they amended this bill 2016 and they passed now so the insolvency and bankruptcy code 2021 presented by the minister of state for corporate affairs that is rao inderjit singh rao inderjit singh and uh, uh, this bill was passed in the parliament without any discussion the bill proposes a prepackaged insolvency resolution process for the corporate uh, debtors under the micro small and medium enterprises development act of 2006 so just you have to remember that this bill was passed next india chaired sixth meeting of the brics counter terrorism working group of 2021 this question is not important because all the students know this the chairmanship lies with india so that's why it is uh, hosted by india 2021 chairmanship of brics lies with india and india is celebrating the 15th anniversary of the brics so that's why the theme is brics at the rate 15 next airtel payments launched the airtel safe pay that is the old question we already covered this so many times sanjay gobi book on leopard leopard diaries the rosette in india so guys you can remember if you want otherwise this question is not not so much important you can just read this name sanjay gobi uh this book basically um, tells us about the food habits you can say ecological context and the uh, conversations of leopards along with the suggestions to overcome leopard human conflict and the book also uh provides the details about sanjay gobi's practical engagement as a conflict manager advisor to the state government and the leopard public relation person and uh, sanjay gobi is a wildlife biologist scientist you can say in the western ghats working on the uh, conservation of the large carnivorous animals like tigers and the leopards so that's why he wrote a book about the leopards and uh, recently we covered one question that uh, uh, leopards population in india increased because one report is released related to 2018 data and that is re um, released by a union minister of uh, environment next world ranger day 2021 was celebrated on 31st of july so world ranger day is annually observed across the globe on 31st of july to commemorate the rangers who are injured or killed in the line of their duty and the day also recognizes the contribution of the rangers across the globe in protecting the natural and the cultural heritage and the day also marks the foundation of international ranger federation and international ranger federation was established on 31st of july 1992 and the theme of the world ranger day 2021 is ranger safety and well being ranger safety and well being but examiner will not ask this question because uh, ranger word is used in the theme so that's why it is very predictable now we are moving to the uh, next question but you can see here the cover page of the book that we already discussed leopard diaries so it is written by sanjay gobi moving to next question and it is a question of the day what was the question of the last day of the july what kind of deposits are covered by the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation 
सो डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस एंड क्रेडिट गारंटी कॉरपोरेशन इज ए फुली ओन सब्सिडरी ऑफ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस एंड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश ऑन दिफ्टींथ ऑफ जुलाई नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एट एंड वन एक्ट वॉज पास दैट इज नोन एज डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस एंड क्रेडिट गारंटी कॉरपोरेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन एंड इट इज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ द प्रोवाइडिंग इंश्योरेंस ऑफ द डिपॉजिट एंड गारंटिंग ऑफ क्रेडिट फैसिलिटीज एंड दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डी आई सी जी सी इंश्योर्स ऑल बैंक डिपॉजिट सच एज यू कैन से सेविंग डिपॉजिट फिक्स डिपॉजिट करंट डिपॉजिट रेकरिंग डिपॉजिट फॉर अप टू द लिमिट ऑफ फाइव लैक्स दिस दिस वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड फाइव लैख of each depositor in the bank and guys remember maximum of 5 lakh after the budget of 2020 2021 because it is increased now is uh, it is insured for each user for both principal and interest amount so maximum to maximum it can be the 5 lakh so answer of this question is very simple answer is now 5 lakh rupees and it will be covered uh, uh, under the saving account fixed deposit current deposit recurring deposit and all kind of deposit so answer of this question is all of above now we are moving to the question of the day what is the population limit uh, read this question very carefully what is the population limit at a place under which the banks do not require a license from the reserve bank of india to open a branch so you have to tell me exact population because the in the options exact figures are given so now we are moving to the last slide it is the motivation slide you can provide me motivation i am providing you a motivation so guys please like this video please subscribe this channel and please share this video as maximum as possible because you can provide motivation by providing these three things and please press this bell button and join our telegram group from the description box and it is a fair clear promise that it will boost your confidence in the general awareness section definitely and it is my personal promise that if you are watching the videos regularly and if you are reading the current affairs from our pdf your current affairs section will go strong definitely and guys you can buy our current affairs at very low price you have to subscribe our current affairs for one year as well as for two year from the link given in the description box because from the link you can download our application and from application you can subscribe these current affairs and please subscribe for uh, uh two years if you are a beginner and you can get the 10% extra discount if you use this code ash10 and guys don't take life so much serious please keep smiling like this and always be happy because happiness is the key of success thank you guys take care and bye bye